If you have a Synology NAS or any NAS for the matter with mechanical hard drives, do you find the hard drive noise intrusive when it's clicking away? Well, in today's video, I want to show you a recent experiment I've done to try and reduce this noise. Personally, I find the noise quite distracting under load since it's in the same room as where I'm working, but especially causes issues when I'm making these videos. I don't have a choice to put the NAS elsewhere at the moment. Ideally, I want it to be in a closet or in another room entirely. That's when I thought about encasing it in something. I have this acoustic foam box I made way back for another tutorial that isn't used anymore. It just so happens to be the perfect size for the DS918 plus without blocking the intakes and fans. Please excuse the following test shots as they were done using daylights as my LED lights have fans in them, which the mic picks up. Also, this is where the NAS really does sit normally, so all the audio is as real as possible, including the ambient sound. So, without further ado, here's the before and after comparison. If you are listening with some headphones, you can probably hear the spinning discs, the low hum or vibration sounds are still present, or even more apparent now that the higher frequency clicks are reduced. Let me know if you can hear the difference or which one you prefer. Now, let's talk about the heat issue. I use my NAS for the time machine backups, general storage plus archive, and the occasional single plex stream, but almost never at the same time. In this experiment, I am transcoding a 4K stream to the desktop, a 1080p stream to the phone, with three additional files being pulled from the NAS whilst doing a backup. As you can see, the poor CPU is maxed out and the 4K stream is struggling. It's no surprise given that even a single 4K transcode is difficult enough under normal circumstances. If we look at the temps after one hour, the CPU has leveled off at around 56 degrees and the room temperature was 22 degrees. And normally during idle, the CPU is around 40 degrees, so no major issues here. Again, that's for my use case, and normally it'll never be under all this load at the same time for this long. So what's the verdict? Personally, I do think it's a significant reduction in the hard drive sounds. However, it's not enough to address the sound being recorded when I'm making these videos, which means it leaves me no choice but to turn off the NAS each time I'm filming. My only concern is that this will increase the wear on the drives from all these stop starts. But hey, I'm willing to do this for your benefit. Anyway, that's it for today's random little experiment. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.